Good morning, everyone. I woke up early this morning and just made breakfast, cleaned up, put the dishes away from last night, chilled with my husband for a bit, and now I'm dressed, ready. I'm gonna go get a coffee because I would usually make it at home, but today I'm in the mood to buy one. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I think I wanna walk over to Madison Avenue because I have the day off today and I think, and it's Friday. So it's like approaching the weekend. So I feel like I wanna do something for me because there's really no point in me going there, but I kind of just want to go. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is what I'm wearing. It's said it's going to be eight degrees outside Celsius, which is pretty cool, but the sun's out. And when I walk, I get really hot. So I'm not going to wear a winter coat or anything, but I did add a scarf in case it's really cool and I want to bundle up. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. That's what I'm doing. And welcome to today's video. I hope you like it. Sorry about this angle, but uh, it's just more comfortable for me to hold my phone down here. But I live on the east side of Manhattan and it's so quiet and peaceful out here sometimes. And I mean, it's loud, but compared to the rest of Manhattan, it's peaceful and it's quiet and it's just so pretty. So I'm about to really enjoy my walk right now. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Okay, I'm in my elevator now. I'm back for my walk. I'm just picking up some packages from downstairs. The package room people like know me so well. I'm there all the time. But yeah, I'm gonna go home and open these up. So yeah. I'm back in my apartment. I'm gonna open up some of the packages that I picked up downstairs. And I don't know if they're exciting or not. This one's exciting. I don't know what this is. Amazon, so we'll see. First package is from Victoria's Secret and it's not lingerie. It's a dress, well actually technically it's lingerie, but I'm gonna wear it as a dress because there are some pieces on Victoria's Secret that you can actually wear as clothing. And I got this to go out for dinner with my husband on his birthday. I think I'm gonna wear this, let's see. And I didn't know what size to get because it's like lingerie, so it goes it's interesting sizing, but this is what it looks like. It is a black slip dress and it's so pretty. And if I don't keep this, or if I don't wear this to his birthday dinner, I'll probably just keep it because it's pretty. Do you like it? It's nice, right? Open back. I'll wear like a blazer on top or like something big because it's very revealing, but it's pretty. So yeah, that's what I got from Victoria's Secret. Next package is from Amazon, and I think this is just a book that I ordered, like a decorative book, but it's also cool because I think it's all about like home decor and stuff. Yeah, I think so. So it's called Habitat, the field guide to decorating. And I like the side of it, which is what I look for when I get decorated books, because obviously when you place them on things, this is what you see. So I got this, I'll probably like stack it with another book and then put maybe put like a lamp on it or something like a bowl. So yeah, I got this book off of Amazon. I actually don't know where to get decorated books from. I have a really hard time finding not expensive, but like pretty hardcover books. So I found this on Amazon and honestly it looks, looks pretty good. Next package I received is from Aritzia and I actually ordered this Oh, it's like Christmas theme. I ordered this literally two days ago and I don't know if I'm keeping it because I own a lot of sweatshirts and sweatpants already, but I have to say that the ones from Aritzia are just my preferred style because they last longer and they're just you know cuter to wear. I owned a few Zara ones last year and I just don't wear them now because they're itchy and they're pilly and they just don't have the wearability like these ones do. But I got these sweatpants, they're wide leg from Aritzia. And then I got a matching sweatshirt to it in this gray color. And then obviously you wear them together, you wear them separately, doesn't matter. But yeah, so that's what I got from Alexia and those are all of my packages. 
I decided to very quickly just put on the sweater and sweatpants that I just showed you from Aritzia. This is it. If you can see, the sweatshirt is in a size medium and I don't know what size the pants are, but they fit great. They're a little bit long, but I feel like if I wear shoes, it shouldn't be that bad. But I kind of just wanted something simple, so I got the gray version and I could have gone even a size up for the sweatshirt because it's not even that big for being a medium, but it works. I hope it just doesn't shrink after I wash it, but this is it. So cute. And yeah. Good morning. It's another day. Um, it's Sunday, Sunday morning. So uh, Ben and I are gonna wake up, get a coffee. I got dressed just in like sweatpants, a sweatshirt, and then I threw this like black leather thing over it because it is chilly with a hat and I have a scarf. I'm just getting my chapstick because I don't like purses these days, so I just put things in my pocket. So I'm just gonna take out my chapstick and we're ready to go. So hopefully I get clips of what I do, which will probably just be going on another walk. So yeah. It's so nice outside. I thought it was gonna be freezing, but it's actually so nice. Beautiful day. Isn't it? Yeah. And we're gonna get a coffee now from Duncan. So we're gonna get one on the way to Central Park. And yeah, that's what we're doing now. So I got a Starbucks in the end and it's a cold drink. We didn't go to the park yet, but we're on our way. We were just stopping me first. I keep getting random clips of just me doing random things because I take out the phone and then we start walking and I'm just carrying so many things. So it's like so hard to actually make a continuous video, but we just stopped right now because Ben is watching a sports game. So he's just checking, checking the scores. So we're just waiting here. My hair looks crazy. But yeah, the park's literally right there. We're approaching it. We already ate our bagel, so when we get to the park, we're probably just gonna sit and people watch. Because it's such a nice day out, so there's probably gonna be so many people out there. So yeah. reservoir now it's so beautiful it's ridiculous great day fall in new york city is just next level so nice hi everyone i thought that this portion of the video should just be kind of like a sit down because i did want to show you some of the things that i have picked up for the Black Friday sale, some of the sites that I've been shopping on had Black Friday sales uh, happen actually before Black Friday. So within like the two weeks prior to the actual Black Friday, there were sales going on online. So I did make a few purchases. There was the Klein Aritzia sale that I have made a few purchases on and also Sephora. I don't know the actual time frame of when the, the Sephora sale starts and ends. It, I think it depends on your status there, but I did pick up a few things from Sephora, so I think I'm going to start there and hopefully it gets you guys some like ideas or inspiration of what to maybe pick up because I know it gets very overwhelming with all of these sales. So I'm going to try and go buy this pretty quickly. I did get, I think, like eight or nine different items, so let's just go buy it. Uh, and see what it is that I picked up. Some are things that I've repurchased, starting with the Ordinary, Nice Cinemite, 10%, Sanks 1%. This is really good, I use it at night. 
Um, the Ordinary, I think everyone knows what this is. It's like really inexpensive and it's really clean if you read the ingredients in here. So I use this. It personally works for me in texture and little bumps, which is my main focus on my skin. So repurchase. This is like my fifth bottle. Next, which is also a repurchase is the Hourglass Mineral Primer, which is my favorite. It is the only one that I have used in the past like three to four years. I got the Traveler one because here in New York, I don't have my vanity that I used to have in my old bedroom back at home. So I do my makeup out of a makeup pouch in front of the mirror on the floor. Um, and it's just nicer when I have a few products in a smaller size because A, they fit in the bag and B, I'm always traveling. <laughs> and like doing weekends away and stuff. So it's just more convenient for me to own a smaller size and things like primer I don't go through very quickly. So I don't mind it being of a smaller size. So that was that. I also repurchased the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I know everyone uses the Radiant Creamy, um, which I have and I use sometimes, even though it's not my favorite. I think I just buy it because everyone says it's good, but this is actually the shit. This is the best concealer. I use it under my eyes. I got a peachier tone this time because I have really bad bags. So I wanted to get a peachier tone to cancel out the blue and purple under my eyes. What else is a repurchase? Oh, I got a pencil sharpener because I don't have one. And the one I used to have, I think was just like a basic uh, CVS one and it just wasn't good. So I got one from NARS. I think it was like $4. It has two holes for different sizes. So but hopefully that works. Next as a repurchase is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I get the lightest color. It's like a one for blondes. Then this, okay, these are new things. So I'm excited. Let's start. Okay. Ole Henriksen, the true serum. Everyone talks about this. I used to buy this when I was in college, like right out of high school. It was like the most expensive thing I would purchase back then. And I remember it working really well. So I saw it on a sale. It came up as like one of the recommended things that I should be buying. And I was like, you know what? I really did enjoy it and it's on sale now. So I'll repurchase that. The next new, new thing that I've never tried before is the oh i'm so excited charlotte tilbury light wonder foundation okay i am a lover of charlotte tilbury they are my favorite makeup brand i love their lip liner lipstick but most importantly their powders are phenomenal absolutely phenomenal sorry i'm having a hard time opening this okay light wonder i don't know if this is a bb cream I think this is actually a foundation for light coverage and a flawless looking finish blends a small amount all over the face. I got it in six medium, totally guessed it, but hopefully that works. I am so excited for this. Next, I got the Magic Away Liquid Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury, which I have never used never used anything liquid from charlotte tilbury so or like creamy oh she's so pretty let's see i'm opening her oh okay so she's like a sponge and then you turn the bottom and then concealer comes out okay i see i see so that looks interesting um Charlotte Tilbury as a person just really knows what she's doing with makeup. So I trust it. I do. I really do. I got a brown eye pencil by Urban Decay because I like brown mascara and eyeliner. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Again, I've never used this. I've only used the Wiz Brow Pencil before and I hate my eyebrows. So I'm thinking to try and become good at makeup and actually have nice eyebrows. So I got that. And last but not least, I don't know why this is so small. Maybe I got the travel size, but it's a milk makeup cream blush. 
I've had one experience with milk makeup so far and it was a bad one. It was for a foundation that just was literally water. So I returned it, but that was a while ago. So I thought that I would repurchase something and I love blush. Oh no, oh no, my bed is white. Don't make a mess. Okay. And I got it in this color. Oh, I ruined it. I ruined it. But I got it. Oh, it's a lip and cheek in the color work. And it's like this like mauve color because the darker the blush, the more flattering it is on your skin, in my opinion. So especially in like the fall time, especially if you have like a, a winter tan, like if you self tan or if you go away in the winter time and then you like come back and put on makeup, gorgeous, like stunning. So those were all the things that I got from Sephora, all 20% off. I was able to get 20% off, I believe, depending on status, it's 10, 15, or 20. So those are just the things that I would recommend picking up for the sale because either I know they're really good products or I've heard so much about them, so I decided to pick them up myself. So yeah, that was everything from Sephora. Hi everyone, I'm back. I didn't really end the video, so I'm just gonna end it here quickly. I'm doing this while I'm editing, but Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a little bit of a mess, but if you did enjoy it, let me know and I'll definitely film more. Thanks guys, love you.